All right, well, it appears there's another audio leak. Um, it's funny because I was literally about to post the first audio leak after some time has passed uh, with the idea being you guys would comment thoughts and opinions in the comment box. And then when I did my follow-up video, I've been getting a lot of requests uh, to discuss this in particular. I have a feeling it's because of Johnny Depp. <laughs> I don't really cover topics like this. It's not my kind of thing. So this is the second audio recording. You guys leave your thoughts and opinions down below. I saw some news articles running with Amber Heard said no one's going to believe a white man. And she says that kind of, but I don't think she says a white guy. And this isn't a new thing. This isn't like, oh my God, you know, this is why we got to stop this and this and this because some women are abusing uh, what it's like to be a woman, <laughs> you know, the fact that people lean more into women being uh, less aggressive, more honest and wholesome and yada, yada, yada. There's a lot of women that will completely abuse that and not bat an eye and Amber Heard and stay tuned after the recording because I'm going to play a little bit of why I think she's just a degenerate on the inside like at heart but anyhow i've worked at a bar i've literally been serving drinks seeing a guy who's kind of like fed up with a chick's shit but just wants to be left alone and then when he walks away that chick immediately her friends come over girlfriends guy friends and she like hypes them up like he smacked her right in front of everybody no one did nothing and then they got to go outside and like kick his teeth in like shit gets real some women could put guys and have put men in serious physical threat with their bullshit. Threaten careers, threaten lives, physical harm. Here's the thing, it's not all women and it damages women who are actual victims. Like there's women out there who are cray cray <laughs> and they'll use that and abuse it. So anyway, listen to this. You know, it's a fair fight. It sees how many people believe or side with you. It doesn't matter if it's fair, fair, fair fight my ass. It, 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 uh, exactly, because you're big, you're bigger and you're stronger. And so when I say that I thought you could kill me, that doesn't mean you counter with you also, uh, that, that, that you lost your own finger. I, I am not trying to attack you here. I'm just trying to point out the fact of why I said call 911. Because I was, you were, you had your hands on me after you threw a phone in my face, and I just got crazy in the past, and I truly thought I need to stop this madness before I get hurt. Oh my God! And I never think about myself that way. I never defend myself that way. I never see myself as a victim. It's right. your fault, you know. All right. Yeah. And I, 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 when they came, I did not cooperate with them. It has been used against me, not by the media, by your side. Who said... Look, what do you mean? Where's the media? It's all out in the media. Why is my... DMV is in your pocket and you don't even know it? Oh, I mean, it's... Well, I was at the courthouse while TMZ is posting things. At the courthouse, while I'm at the courthouse, they're posting things about the cops never coming, right? Then we, we provide proof. Then they say, oh, well, just one, one, one set of police officers. Then they retract their story, but they don't actually retract it like an objective media source would. No, what do they do? They just come out with a new lie. They go, oh, well, it was just one pair of cops, and she said it was two. And I said, no, here's the proof. We just subpoenaed the building for the actual security records to prove that was wrong. Okay, then what did they do? They came out with a new lie, a different lie. Okay, well, it was this. It was this. I mean, every step of the way I've had to take has been because that that news source is in Marty's pocket. In Laura, like, that's what Laura's... But I'm telling you now, if, if, if we go, if, if I file, if, if they file the fucking papers tomorrow, which means I, the, the shit I got to file before we go to court on Friday. If they file <clears throat> those papers, it's first of all, it's it's it's, it's very bad for both of us. Okay. Well, your teams are gonna file anything that they think is bad for you. Trust me. No, you're 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 what you're saying. You you got to do something to protect yourself, which means throwing me under the bus for the some video about me being not, not me I have to respond legally meaning I'll have to go and, and pursue the no I have to pursue the whole course of action because here's what you don't understand if if we do this and if well basically we'll know because my I called my lawyers and I said why aren't we negotiating more what is going on why where are we and they're like 
Everything is on your court. We literally they, no, they won't settle. Anything. Your agents won't. Your your, your lawyers and won't settle, baby. I'm telling no, you. No, we 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 want to mediate. We even have a mediate. We even found mediators and and, and everything. Like that was all worked out. The the thing that Laura didn't agree to was uh, she did not want to agree to a mutual gag order, and that's the problem. But like she doesn't want the gag order. Why, Johnny? Why? Why wouldn't she? Why wouldn't she want both? Parties to not talk about this in the press. By the oh. way, just talking about the press, not even talking about the court. Okay, I tell you what, Amber, let, let me get on that right now. I'll fucking get on it right now, and I and I'll I'll get a message back to you somehow. Just uh, uh, you know, uh, but I'll I'll get I'll get on I, it right I, now. I, listen, I just want I, I just want you to know, I, I'm not doing anything and have not been doing any move. Like look, look it up. Timeline. Nothing was on the offense. Everything has been a defensive move because I'm being called a liar and a gold digger. And I'm not lying about any of this shit. And I am not after a dime of your money. And you know what? I was told by Laura and after the. I'm going to play another clip from her deposition. And I'll explain it in a second. But this one little moment, I was like, you're a scumbag, bro. Did you ever report to any law enforcement authority other than the police your claims that he did these things on April 21? No, I attempted as best as I could to hide this and keep our lives as private as, as possible. And I did what a lot of, I guess, women do, tried to protect him. Yeah, this is a woman, and this is what led me to the conclusion that She's just a degenerate in the sense that this is a person who cares only about Amber Heard. That's it. Just one selfish, bratty little shit. And like I said, I'm against cancel culture. I'm not signing petitions. I'm not doing this, that, and a third because that's caused a lot of problems where we hear some things and then we react and it just gets all muddled. Like right now, now that you're learning more, if you canceled Johnny Depp before, do you now go, ooh, yikes, okay, fine, he can come back to Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm not going to watch anything Amber Heard is a part of. I'll give it like a year or two, let this blow over, and that's what normally happens. Cancel culture has an expiration date. Year, two years, five years, ten years. Sooner or later, you're going to be able to find work again. But I'm just choosing because her, as a person, has shattered any kind of charisma or charm she has. And I just see this little selfish brat. She's on stage using something that is real. And yes, I'm going to call it a stage because her lawyers obviously coached her. Yes, this will be public. Yes, this will make it to YouTube. Yes, people will be sharing these clips and yada, yada, yada. So she's taking something that is real and authentic and she's modifying it and using it as a shield. Like, yeah, yeah, I didn't call cops before, not because I was the main abuser or not because I was abuser as well. And hell, call them equal abusers. At this point in time with the evidence that's out there, there's no way you can say that uh, Johnny Depp is worse than her when it comes to the abuse. At this point, as fair as it gets, you can put them in the same league. They both did it to each other. I mean, it's shit that they're going to have to go through and obviously the blowback from the public. But this is a person who's using this as a shield. As she's saying those words, does she care about the honesty and the reality that she was abusive as well? No. Is she saying that, you know, I'm saying these words, but I'm an absolute hypocrite because Johnny Depp lost part of a finger in a fight. I've punched him too. I struck him too. I sat down, recorded a conversation. This is Amber Heard and her genius brain. She sits down and records a conversation, right? With Johnny Depp admitting, I love you so much, but I just get so mad. I'm gonna have to beat your bitch ass. You know what I'm saying? This is the type of selfish brat. And let's play this other clip behind this and I'll show you what I mean about her terrible acting laying it on thick. What you say happened with Miss Till Tillett Wright? Sure. Was she on the phone during all of this? You ever see those people that over exaggerate in certain situations some of their facial features to be like extra more compassionate and yada yada yada? That's literally what she's doing here. And again, the main factor here is on stage knowing she's an absolute hypocrite. And this is not me saying Johnny Depp is innocent and she's a monster. This is me saying they are both guilty. They are both guilty to a degree, absolutely. I'm willing to say equally. And I know there's more dirt out there on Amber. All right, 
equal. That's what I'm going to say. And they both in a terrible relationship. And you know what? One thing, speaking of uh, being in a terrible relationship, one thing I'm getting sick of is people getting in shitty relationships and just going to Twitter for accusation. Like, yeah, if you were with a boyfriend for six months and he was an absolute asshole, don't run to Twitter and want us to cancel, you know, their career because you stayed with an asshole. What's wrong with you? Why don't you use that as a life learning lesson? You know what I'm saying? And if they committed a crime... I will support you <laughs> in putting them in jail. Boom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Done. This situation seems to have lit a fire of people wanting to discuss. And another big thing is to, to get it out there. I know I heard about it for a year. And I was just like, oh, rich, famous people having problems. Whoa. It wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It was like in a toxic relationship. Oh, you don't know, stop the press. And again, I have a feeling some people are going to be like, it's not even that big of a deal then you know what, fine. But if you look at this chick's expressive manipulation where she doesn't even have to say nothing, then you're just not around females enough or maybe in certain environments, it's manipulation through some type of expression. You know, I, I don't know. These aren't like defined words. Not that I know of. I'm not a psychologist or anything like that. I'm just some asshole. That is what she's doing there. There's a genuine where people are actually, you'll see it in grandparents or parents or loved ones, where people are actually like, oh, my kid fell down. Oh, my God, you poor thing. I feel so bad for you. There's a genuine, and you it comes off as genuine. And then there's this expressive mani manipulation where she's trying to manipulate anyone watching this tape because she was coached it was public. She's trying to hopefully manipulate anyone she possibly can by doing all this eyebrow stuff with her, her and you need to actively do that with your muscles yo she is so fake here so fake this is not a one and done video where it's like boom here's all my thoughts and opinions because i'm still digesting i'm still processing i'm still in here and new information and there's more tapes coming out so this is likely one of those little ongoing discussions again normally i don't get into the celebrity drama but a lot of people want us to discuss it so if you're interested go ahead and pop some thoughts and opinions down below if you think i said something that's like oh wait ronnie i, I saw this and this and this and it made me think of this and this and this well then holla at me down below and it it might change my perception on some shit. You know what I mean? If you're popping in here to be like, oh, she's completely innocent because uh, yada, yada, yada. Nah, I I'm just not buying that. Unless we get some other actual proof and information. But if you're basing this off of what out what is out already, where I stand, they both guilty to a degree. I'm not going for the cancel culture shit. Like I said, I'm not running out to watch her new movie. I will watch Johnny Depp and whatever he's in. I think he has better charm, charisma. I think he's got better range as an actor. You know what? If Amber Heard came out from the gate and she was like, yo, it was toxic as shit. You know, he pushed me around. I almost chopped his finger off. I hammer fisted his ass a couple times and called him a baby. I probably would have watched her next project, you know, because at least there's that honesty there. When you got this deep, deceptive nature in you, that is tied to so many different things. And that's why I use words like selfish, because this is a person who knows that she's going up against someone that she was praising, even in one of those videos. She married them. This is a person that she had a deep emotional connection with, and she is so willing to throw them under the bus for her public image. Instead of one little smear on there, because what do you got with public image, fan base, work, job, career, money, money, money. You know, and that's why I say I would have open arms accepted just the brutal truth. We all make mistakes. We all mess up. How many of us have been in a toxic relationship? We know some people can push you to the edge and, you know, it's just not, a, it's a, it's a explosive, you know, reaction. It happens to the best of us, but that deception, nah, man, <laughs> nah, you got a lot to learn. But then again, the world's going to forgive you because you hot. And that's probably what turns you into a monster on the inside.